Hey folks, Dino here again. This time with a much anticipated, but unfortunately a little bit disappointing uh, third party release. This is the Tonson Art Toys What Vengeance um, 05B, or the B version, um, or the manga version, whatever terminology you want to use. And yeah, um, I have been so looking forward to these releases. Um, since they were announced last year, Tonson's head sculpts are just like some of the best in the third party business. Um, just straight up, they are. <laughs> there's just there's no competition. Um, and yeah, the head the spoilers does live up to that. Um, but yeah, this figure is not without its downsides. Um, yeah, <laughs> we will get into that once we get to the figure itself. Uh, but yeah, also I need to apologise to you guys. Um, I put out a poll last month um, asking which version of this guy you all wanted to see. It was overwhelmingly the majority wanted the A version, which is obviously the anime version. Um, things transpired that I managed to pre-order both. Um thanks to like birthday money and such um so i appreciate my mother for that but yeah the a version for whatever reason is cursed with me like to start with i ordered from figure model store store um or figure model store if you want to be technical about it um and they had an issue with a supplier with a the a version so I ended up cancelling with them, um, but then turned out the following day that they had fixed their supplier issue and they were now getting the figure again. So I asked them and for whatever reason they couldn't reinstate my pre-order. Even though they'd done it with others, you win some, you lose some, right? I then went with another store um, who has done absolutely nothing but mess me about. <laughs> um, and I'm pretty sure they're trying to scam me, but we will see how that turns out. Um, basically, they put a shipping number, a tracking number, on the figure just before it was due to like automatically cancel and give me a refund on AliExpress, um, and then proceeded to basically admit to me that he hadn't shipped out at all, He'd literally just done that so AliExpress wouldn't cancel the order. So now I'm stuck in a back and forth dispute with him because he says it won't be here till mid-September at the earliest. I don't know whether to believe him or not. I have ordered from the seller before. That's what makes this even more infuriating. Um, but yeah, he's just messed me about something awful. So unfortunately, A will get here when it gets here. Um, if it's late... That's just how it is, I'm afraid, folks. Um, I'm just glad I managed to get one of the versions for you guys to review in time. Um, but yeah, fingers crossed, all works out, and I do get them eventually. I mean, not being able to review A isn't the worst in the world, let's be honest, because A is completely sold out everywhere. Like, I am hoping at this point Tonson does a restock, um, especially of the A version. Even though, in my personal opinion, parts of the B version look nicer, but we'll get into that. <laughs> but yeah, I have droned on far too much um, for this bit. So let's take a look at his box, shall we? So yeah, um, the box is actually pretty nice. Um, the old A and B versions um, both have similar boxes. The A version has blue and he's in base form on the front of the box. But yeah, it's a kind of figure arts inspired, but it's very small, which I was kind of surprised about, um, to be honest with you. They packed an awful lot into one little box, um, to be completely honest. But yeah, um, really nice box. I do like it. Um, Warped Vengeance is his unofficial title. Um, spoilers, I am getting Kid Boo version A delivered in the next few days, hopefully. Um, so 
look forward to that review as well. It's going to be a packed uh, few days into next week. <laughs> um, so yeah, back of the box is a uh, pretty standard. It's actually kind of poor printing, to be honest with you. Um, the artwork is kind of blurry, but I mean, we'll let it fly. Like it, it it's a figure. The box is only there to protect it on the way here. Um, do we have any third party blobs? No, we do not. That's unfortunate. But yeah, um, pretty much standard box. Um, one thing I will say is it came with a shipper, which is really good. I really appreciate that. That protects the box in transit, um, which this did need because the seller that I ordered from, even though he got it out to me very quickly, he didn't bother bubble wrapping it. <laughs> it literally came to me in the brown shipper and that was it. Um, in a grey sort of bag. So yeah. But yeah, let's take a look at his accessories. Of which, these figures can't, like, fault Tonson for this. They come with a lot. You get a lot of bang for your buck. Yeah, let's take a look at them. So, in terms of accessories, um, I'll try and speed through this as quickly as I can. <laughs> um, first off, he comes with a nice jacket accessory. Um, because, of course, this version of Trunks is from the end of the Android slash Cell Saga. So, uh, this is when he's going to deal with the future Androids. So, it looks really nice. Um, it's coming up a darker blue on camera than it is in person. Uh, weirdly enough... Uh, the colour of this jacket kind of suits the anime style more than the manga. Um, I get a sneaky suspicion he's kind of mix and matched to get you to try and buy both. <laughs> um, but yeah, really nice accessory. Um, he comes with his sword, which at first glance uh, may look identical, except in colours, to the official version. But no, um, this is a completely new... Or at least remade sculpt. Um, you get more detail on the scabbard. Um, the gold is a really nice colour. Um, and the sword is actually like thin at the end and tapers out. More like his sword actually was in the anime in some uh, parts. But yeah, if you're wondering about the weird colour, um, that's... The colour his sword and scabbard was in the manga, the official colouring, um, which, weirdly enough, coincides with the colour it was in Xenoverse and Heroes. So yeah, might just give this to my Xeno trunks. Um, yeah, also has a, a nifty little feature where everyone loved to complain about the bottom part popping out in the official release. So Tonson just bypassed that and give us a magnet. <laughs> so it just pops on really easy. Um, I do appreciate that. Um, it comes with a strange accessory. Um, basically these go on his hands. They are essentially just hands. Um, they are hollow. But they go onto which side? Which side is it? Is it this side? I think I'm going to have to consult the manual with this. <laughs> um, basically, these are pockets. Um, so, yeah, they're really cool. Um, that's to sort of mimic the opening in the anime, where he didn't have his jacket on and had his hands in his pocket. So, yeah. Um, he comes with an alternate base form head, which unfortunately is manga-coloured. Um, or GT coloured as well. GT went back to the sort of manga style. Um, bear of bad news. Um, I will still do a comparison video. Um, a part two. Showing these accessories on the official body and vice versa. But yeah, the pegs and such are not compatible. As far as I can tell. Which is a shame because the faces and the heads frankly look better than the official <laughs> um, but yeah you also get a an alternate hairpiece which looks decent enough 
this is based more on his first appearance where the bangs didn't stick up quite as much I will be sticking with what's on him at the moment though yeah really nice um, before we get on to faces and hands he also comes with a really nice sort of swooshing swinging effect to the sword so if we take the sword out and which way does it go in? Does it start here? Yes, it does. There we go. Um, it has a really like deliberate stop point, so you know when you've pushed it in enough. And yeah, you can basically have a massive swing, or you can just have the small one. Um, this is quite cool. I like this. Um, I think I actually prefer this color to the A versions. Um, but yeah, that is based off a an actual statue um, that you can buy, just a figurine. Um, yeah, this is pretty much identical to that, so I do really like it. Um, so moving on to faces, before we move on to hands, he comes with uh, nine in total. Um, which is really good, that's a lot of faces. Um, depending on the version you get, A version comes with more base form heads, B version comes with more Super Saiyan heads. Um, I, I will be completely honest with you, the only thing I prefer about the A version is the base form head, that is sort of proper anime colours. Um, but everything else I prefer in the B version, um, including the metallic hair on the Super Saiyan. But yeah, for the Super Saiyan head, you get Stern Face, looks really nice. That is probably the best likeness to Trunks we have ever gotten. And that's including the Boy from the Future in that assessment. And you also get a base form Stern Face in the same style. Okay, going back to the Super Saiyan, you get a Smirk. I'll be honest, the smirk was the entire reason I bought the B version on top of like the metallic here. <laughs> uh, the smirk on this guy just looks so nice. Um, it looks just like trunks. Um, you get a base form version as well. They did remember the black inner pupil, which is really nice. Um, the purple is kind of dark. But once I get the A version, eventually, I can mix and match, and you you won't notice at all. Um, he comes with gritty teeth, which this is the Super Saiyan version, really nice. Gritty teeth for the base form. This one's kind of looking off to the side. Again, really nice. These uh, faces so far are all flawless. Like, absolutely flawless. Uh, yelling face. Really nice. There's a lot of expression in that. Do you like it? Again, yelling face, but base form version. Again, looking really good. And you get one bonus face, which is him sort of shocked, goofy, goofy, um, comical expression taking after Vegeta because um Tonson's Super Saiyan Vegeta face sculpts had an almost identical sculpt to this. Um really nice. I don't remember Trunks ever like doing this face in the anime or the manga, so if anyone can tell me if this is actually like good for certain poses then let me know. <laughs> um in terms of hands, again he comes with a lot. He comes with 12. Um, so, first off, you get probably the most disappointing hands of the set. Um, these are sort of wide, grippy hands, which are meant to be used with the scabbard, so that you can hold the scabbard. Um, but, yeah, I am not sure why they didn't, like, put maybe a magnet there, and maybe hit a magnet at the back so they can hold it at all. Um, but yeah, you 
pretty much have to use like blue tack or something to use these hands. Which is a bit disappointing. Um, comes with a pair of Big Bang style key blast hands. Quite nice. Pair of sword gripping hands. Again, really nice. Specialized pair of sort of gripping hands, which are actually for his burning attack. Um, you can get like a, a sort of arm set as a bonus, um, depending on where you ordered from. You might get it, you might not. Um, to go with this, but unfortunately, I don't have that. But I think it looks a bit goofy anyway. But yeah, um, really nice hands to have. And finally, a pair of wide key blast splayed open hands. Again, for the burning attack, this is for like, the final point of it there. So yeah, um, if I haven't said it before, one thing I will say about Tonson, not a single part of this, to my knowledge, has been reused. Like, not a single part. Um, the boots are a different sculpt, the pants are a different sculpt, or the trousers, if you're from the UK. Um, the arms are a different sculpt, they aren't even based on superhero Gohan's arms. Um, even the, the heads and the faces, even though parts of it are probably like remoulded from official figures, they are not identical. He's not just straight up swapped them. Um, so he has put a lot of effort into this. So yeah, um, just to let you know before we get to the actual figure, which we are going to right now. <laughs> so be prepared. So yeah, um, in terms of the figure, um, I do really think, like, as good as this figure looks, this figure looks incredible. Like, I'll say that straight off the rip. Tonson needs to work on his plastic tolerances. Big time. Um, I've seen reports online of joints on the legs in particular being so tight on this guy that they literally sheared off the peg trying to do the articulation. Um, mines would have probably done the same if I wasn't prepared for it. Um, so what I ended up having to do because the left hip left to us, the left hip and the two thigh rotations were completely fused in the socket. They would not move at all. Um, so I had to pretty much give him a bath. <laughs> um, I put him in a like a hot basin of water um, for like a minute tops. I wouldn't recommend leaving it in any more than that because you might make the plastic too soft. Um, but yeah, I had to do that, and thankfully, the joints now move. Most of them anyway, this hip, while I have got it to move, the tolerances on the ball joint itself are a bit too loose compared to how tight the hinge is, so that one will pop off before you can actually use the articulation, which is a shame, it really is a shame. Um, once I got all the joints moving, apart from that one, um, this guy's amazing. Like, I I cannot understate it enough that this guy's probably the best figure in my collection currently. <laughs> uh, despite its issues, which I, fingers crossed that Tonson gets his act together with that. Um, if they do, like, a re-release of specifically the A version because I, I hear the A versions get even tighter joints on them than the B version does. Um, but yeah, if he does that, these would be the perfect figures, honestly. Um, it's just a shame that with how much time he's had, I get Tonson is just like one man as far as I'm aware doing all this. Um, it's, yeah, it, it's just a shame that his very first release um, 
the release that he was looking forward to more, and pretty much all of us were looking to more, than the Kid Boo, and came out with a quality control issues, frankly. But yeah, um, in terms of how the figure looks, I cannot fault that one bit, like at all. I apologise if the colours are coming off a bit bright once I get this figure close. Um, I think it's because of the metallic hair um, that's doing that. Speaking of which, the metallic hair is fantastic. Like, I knew from like the moment he used it on the Majin Vegeta a B version, I knew I needed to get that kind of hair for the trunks. Because I, I just prefer the metallic hair to... Like the matte blonde. I know the matte blonde looks good. Um, I do like it. But I've just always been a sucker for metallic hair. <laughs> um, that's just how it is. But yeah, the hair's nice. Um, it doesn't have any shading. As far as I can tell. Um, but. Yeah, it doesn't really need it. To be completely honest with you. Um, the upper body. The. I think the top part of his tank top. Um, is soft rubber which kind of gets out of the way it's not quite soft enough to like move out the way for the articulation which is a bit of a shame but it looks the part and um, some people were saying his pecs looked a bit too bulky but at the end of the cell saga trunks was jacked like he was incredibly bulky at that point and um, through that and through all the movies that he starred in as well. So yeah, but I think Tonson captured this perfectly. He really did. Um we will see what Demonical Fitz copy, I mean own version is for. <laughs> um I will compare that once that figure does release. Um, but that one's obviously based off the boy from the future mold. Whereas this guy is pretty much his own thing. Um so yeah. The joints are a bit on the strange side um, he's got a ball joint hinge down the bottom which allows for sort of sideways articulation of the lower arm that is something I've never seen before so I do like that and um, the belt is really nicely done that silver is a nice metallic silver um, again that is not based off the official mold at all that is its own thing um, boots as well, coloured really nicely. Um, they are slightly darker because this is obviously the manga colours, and the boot tips are grey instead of uh, dark brown. But yeah, they are still their own thing. Um, so yeah, the watch as well. Um, in the anime, I think that was a silver strap, whereas in the manga, it's black. Another small difference, not something you're really going to notice. But yeah, um, let's get into articulation. So, in terms of the head, he can look up about that far. Um, apologies if I am being a bit careful with the figure. Um, after the issues and such, I really don't want to break it. <laughs> um, he can look down a little bit. Um, can't really touch his chin to his pecs. Bit strange, the neck... Whereas the, the top half gets a lot of range, the bottom half doesn't really seem to move, like, at all. It almost seems as if it's fused there. Um, don't know whether that's what it's supposed to be, or whether it is just a tight joint, but we will see. Um, but yeah, you get all your hinges and swivels, all that good stuff, um, like you've seen there. It is just a 3.0 style peg. Uh, the pegs are slightly different from the boy from the future though. So be warned about that. Um, arms can go up really far. That is really good. And um, we've got a sort of hinged butterfly joint in there. Which can let him arch back a lot. And arch forward. Um, the pecs kind of limit the articulation, though, even with all that articulation. Um, so that's about as far forward as he can get at the front. 
um, but if you use the top half of the articulation, which is why it's cut out, you can get a lot more range that way. So yeah, um, obviously swivels just fine. Butterfly joint right there. You can hear the squeaking. These joints are very tight. This, this guy is literally the opposite problem that the Boy From The Future trunks had. The first version anyway. Um, double joint at the elbow. I don't know what sorcery this is, but yeah, this sort of hybrid style joint that Tonson's came up with, that gets really good range. That's insane. Um, like I showed before, that sort of ball joint style allows for the arm to rotate there. Gets even more range. And that pops really easy off um, for the sort of jacket accessory and, well, not not the other bit, um, just the jacket accessory. <laughs> um, ab section gets some decent back, insanely good forward. Like, that's, that's great. For how bulky his abs are, like, that is really good. Um, you get some pivot side to side and you get a swivel at the waist that gets more pivot as well so good so far now we come to the problem areas so oh god um, I am going to have to get some silicon shock oil for this figure <laughs> um, I should probably have some on hand but for whatever reason I've just never bought any and um, yeah you can kick up that far as standard um, he can kick back a bit because while this a uh, this sort of hip section is not as soft as Goku's or Gohan's the three point O's, um, that's the legendary Super Saiyan and the Cell Saga one. Um, they are kind of a softer plastic. Um, I wish he would have made that even softer. But yeah, you can go back a little bit. Um, now that I have freed the joint up. Um, you do get a thigh rotation. I will just quickly show you what happens on this side though. That just pops out um, before you get to use the articulation at all, which is a shame. Um, hopefully a bit of shock oil in that will get that to move as well. Yeah, double joint at the knee. No boot rotation. Um, you do get an ankle swivel though. And surprisingly, He's incorporated the legendary Goku uh, style of feet. So the ball peg itself actually moves back and forth to give it more range. So yeah, this is not the feet from the Back to Future Trunks. <laughs> um, or the boy from the Future Trunks, sorry. <laughs> so if you don't move it, that's the range you get. If you move it back, you get a little bit more. Um, moving it forward, you get a lot of point down. Toe articulation is full 90. That's really good. <laughs> and swivel, ankle pivot. Gets that much, which is really good. Um, I have no idea why Tamashi did not incorporate that sort of articulation into their trunks, but there you go. <laughs> that is that, I suppose. Um, so yeah, before we go, um, I will quickly put the jacket on to show it, so bear with me while I do that. And just like that, that's the jacket accessory, looks really good, um, I do like it even if it is a little bit goofy to me, but yeah, <laughs> um, I'll just quickly show off the hands in the pockets now. Aha, I worked it out. <laughs> um, Basically, the hands angle like that, and this lip here actually slots under that part of his hip joint. And then you just pop the hands in like that. That works really well. Um, that probably won't work with the official figure because of the lip on his hips. Yeah, um, that actually looks pretty good. I like that. 
<laughs> um, that fit together surprisingly well. Um, and it looks really seamless because you can still see the joint. So yeah, um, overall guys, um, I know this, this video is going on, so I will quickly show the differences between the figures, um, but other than that, stay tuned for the part two. Um, I honestly kind of despise this figure <laughs> um, for just how loose it is. Um, but yeah, stay tuned for part two, where I will be comparing them, contrasting them, and showing the accessories and such. So yeah, um, you all notice the two of them are slightly different heights. That is honestly to be expected, because the anime Boy From The Future is supposed to be the start of the android saga, when he kills Frieza. This is supposed to be the end, so he has grown a little bit in the time chamber. Would have preferred them the same height, being completely honest with you, because this guy doubles as like the end of the saga as well. But yeah, um, let me know what you guys think about this guy. Um, link is in the description if you want to buy B, the B version, because of course the B version is still readily available from certain sellers on AliExpress, especially through the Choice um, network. So yeah. Um, let me know what you guys think down in the comments, and until next time, I'll see y'all later.